is a spiritual battle. Yeah. Amen. 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 I should have got some strong amens amen. on here. Amen. That is a spiritual battlefield. Yes. I'm on the battlefield yeah. for the Lord. Yeah. If you would turn your Bibles with me to Psalms 39. Reverend Thompson read it to your hearing, and we will go back there to John 14. But I want you to go to Psalms 39 to just to give you uh, some more word before going into the message that I think is important that I need you to see yeah. and to remember when we go over to John. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Psalms 39, and I want to begin reading in your hearing before going into the John, just, just a portion that I want to you to focus your attention on. Uh, let's look at verse 3 and 4. Uh, verse uh, 3 and 4 of Psalms 39. It says, My heart was hot within me while I was mercing, am I saying that correct? Mussering the fire burning. Then spoke I with my tongue. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Lord, make me to know my end and the measure of my days. Well, what is it that I may know how frail I am? Uh -huh. Now go over to John 14. John 14. And the scripture says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know. And the way you know, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not where you go. And how can we know the way? And verse 6 says, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I want to stop right there and give the thought, if I may, journeys in. Well, Are y'all listening to me here? Amen. Journeys in. In. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I come to you now with the message that you have given me for this hour and this time. Lord, let me decrease that you increase. That the spirit man will say what you would have me to say before these your people. Lord, have thy own way now. I yield my will that thy will be done. Speak through this vessel of clay. I pray your will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 My brothers and my sisters, from John 14, verses 1 through 6, I gave the complete thought, journeys in. My brothers and my sisters, in the long ago, the biblical psalmist cried, show me, O Lord, my life ends. That is a good prayer for our times, my brothers and my sisters. For a person to make life journey meaningful and worthwhile, he must have at least two things in sight. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. A destination, somewhere to go, and a direction, a way to get there. Are y'all listening to me here? Mm -hmm. 
Jesus speaks of both in our text. Number one, the destination to the Father, any journey that is worthwhile must have a destination. Now you know when you're going somewhere, you have to get some sight in your mind where you're going. Mm -hmm. You're not going to just run off and start getting in your car and just start driving and don't know where you're going. you got to set some sort of destination in your mind where you're going. Amen. Amen. It ought to get there. To depart without a destination is doomed of oneself to aimless wandering. Are, are y'all with me here? Because if you don't know where you're going, you're going to be wandering in your mind. Sure. Where am I going? <laughs> you're going to be aimless to wonder. Where am I going? Picture yourself getting in your car saying that you 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 going to Jacksonville and you end up in Callahan. Well. Amen. Which means that you are aimless and wandering and don't have nowhere and no distance to go. One of the greatest tragedies of our life is that we do not know where we are going. Well. Uh, are y'all listening to me here? Yes. When we move into the future, we leave no forwarding address. Huh. Are you listening to me here? Amen. He says here in verse, uh, uh, verse 2, he says, I go and prepare a place for you. In verse 3, he said, if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Mm -hmm. See, the Father already done prepared a place for you. And it's up to you to prepare yourself to get to that destination. Amen. Amen. Are you listening to me here? Yeah. He said we are. We would do well to heed, watch this, to the words of Moses to the people wandering aimlessly in the wilderness. He said if only there were wise and would, and, and would discern what their end will be. Somebody go to Deuteronomy for me real quick and look at verse 32. Uh, of chapter 32 and look at verse 29. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 29. Somebody read that for me quickly. He says that we would do well to heed to the words of Moses to a people wandering aimlessly in the wilderness if only they were wise and would discern what their end would be. Deuteronomy uh, 30, chapter 32 verse 29. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their letter in. Y'all see that? Yeah. A journey that is worthwhile must be, watch this, must have the right destination. Letter in. Are you listening to me here? He says here, he says, watch this, he says, he says, he says, not all those we pursue in life are the right ones. Many of the things we seek must, watch this, are uh, uh, much more are uh, really are uh, not worth the effort. Are y'all listening to me here? No. Watch this, he said, such Jesus said in the case with the man who lays up treasures on earth. Somebody go to Luke chapter 12. And read verse 13 through 21 for me, real quick. Watch this, he said, not all those we pursue in life are the right ones. Many of the things we seek most are, are really are not, watch this, worth the effort. Somebody look at Deut uh, uh, Luke chapter 12 and, and, and read verse 13 to 21 for me, real quick, somebody. Read it out a little louder. Over you. And he said unto me, unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. Covetousness. Read it out a little louder, Amber. For a man's life consisted not in the abundance of the things which he 
possesseth. And he spake a preparable unto them, saying to the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he thought with himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruit. Yes. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. Mm -hmm. And there will I bestow all my fruits and goods. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. Mm -hmm. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night this soul, thy soul mm -hmm. shall be required of thee. Then the, whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? Yes. So is he the layeth a treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. Amen. 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 So you see, according to Jesus, there is only one destination, my brother and my sister, that is truly worthwhile. Mm -hmm. The Father's house. He says here in verse 2, he said, In my Father's house are many mansions. Yeah. If it were not so, I would not have told you. Yeah. Watch this. He said, The direction, no one cometh to the Father except through me. That's right. Some people who have the Father's house in their sight never get there because they get lost on some side street. Well. There was a song called On Any Street. Any street called love. Y'all remember that song? Amen. Because on any street, anything can happen on any street. That's right. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening to me here? Yeah. Some people try to get there by living good and moral lives. Yes. You can't try to live a good and moral life. Mm -hmm. Only Jesus can save. That's right. Some people try to get there by following their own gospel. Well. Are you listening to me here? Yes. Some people try to get there uh, 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 by their own religious, trying to be Lord over the house of God. Yes. You can't be Lord over the house of God. No. Only God is the Lord of this house. This is the Lord's church. Jesus is Lord. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Are you listening to me here? Amen. We cannot run this house. Joking. Jesus is the head of this house. Yeah. Ain't no pastor, no member, no lay member is the head of this house. Christ is the head yeah, of this church. This church. Mm -hmm. right. Are you listening to me here? Amen. Yes. He said, but according to Jesus, there is only one way to the Father's house. In our perilistic society, we do not uh, like exclusiveness. Mm. We like inclusiveness. Uh -huh. Yeah. We like to treat every religion as good as every philosophy as worthwhile. For us, the ultimate virtue is intolerance, a toleration. We are quick to brand those who preach the one way and bigotry the and in, intolerant. In other words, we 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 so quick to brand a, a, a preacher, uh -huh. put him on a pedestal. Mm. You know, make him make him feel like he 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 lord over you. Yeah. yeah. But ain't no man lord over nobody. God has given no person no, a lordship over nobody. That's right. Sure. Amen. Are you listening to me here? Amen. Jesus is lord of all. Amen. Yes. Lord. Are you listening? Amen. He told the man to be the head of the household, not head over the woman. Uh -huh. That's, right. That's right. Not the lord over the woman. That's right. Make her his domain. Now I know that's right. He didn't give us dominion over no, no other human being. Sure. He gave man dominion over the animals. The animals. And some of us right now scared of a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Some of us men. Mm -hmm. I bet you you won't run up on a lion. No. Mm -mm. Or even a snake. No problem. And some men scared of horses. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You let a lion walk in that door right now. I guarantee 
guarantee you the men will be out of here for the women. That's right. We'll beat y'all getting out of here. Amen. Sam P. Mm. I listen here. Amen. He said, in our parallelistic society, we do not like exclusiveness. <laughs> we like inclusiveness. Mm. We like to treat every religion as good, mm -hmm. as every philosophy as worthwhile. Yes. Yes, For us, the ultimate virtue is toleration. Mm. We are quick to brand those who preach the one, one way as bigotry and intoleration. Yet we have those words of Jesus. No one coming to the Father except through me. Amen. He says here, watch this, my brother, my sisters, in verse, in verse uh, 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 four, he say, and where I go, you know. Mm -hmm. And the way you know, watch this, and then Thomas come back and said, watch this unto him, Lord, we know not where you go. Are y'all looking at me here? Yes. He said, how can we know the way? Look at verse 6. He said, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Now look what he said in verse 7. He said, if you have known me, watch this. He said, you should have known my Father also. Are you listening to me here? He said, and from here forth, you know him. And have seen him. Now watch this. He, he, you hear people say no man has seen the Father. That's right. I listen here. Now watch this. He said right here in verse 8. And Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father. Mm -hmm. And it what? Sufficient us. Watch this. And then in verse 9 he said, Jesus said unto him, have I been so long with you? And yet you have not known me, Philip. Mm -hmm. You see that? He said, there is no right understanding of Jesus Christ until the Father is actually seen in him. Mm -hmm. See, the Father is being seen through us. Mm -hmm. We are the only people that, 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 that the world see Jesus in as Christians. Yes. We are his, what? We are his light to the, to the earth. Amen? So we acting out in another way then we're not showing the, the, the bloodstained battle. Yeah. Amen. You don't have to tell nobody you say. We talked about that in Sunday school. If you're holding the bloodstained battle up high, people already know you say by the way you carry yourself. You have a certain aura about you. God has set you apart. Remember he said he has he have set you apart. You become a royal priesthood. See? You're in this world, but you're not of this world. You might function in the things in this world, but you're not of this world. You don't run to every clock of wind that blows. Amen. Are you listening to me here? He says, right, he says, he said, get, have the, uh, 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 these words of Jesus, no one cometh to the Father except through me. Now look at what he said right here in verse 10. He said, do you believe not that I am in the Father? And that the Father is in me. Are the words that I speak unto you. I speak not of myself. Are y'all listening here? Yes. He said but the Father. Who dwells in me. He does the work. Yes. Are you listening? In other words you can't, you can't move about. On your own effort. Because if the Lord didn't breathe. The breath of life in you this morning. You wouldn't move. Sure. You wouldn't even got up. Are you listening to me here? Amen. The thought that you are thinking in your mind, if the Lord didn't give you a, a mind to think, you wouldn't even be able to think. Amen. If, he, if he stopped the blood right now from running warm through your veins, you wouldn't be alive. Amen. Are you listening? Yes. We must always remember, my brothers and my sisters, that we are in the presence of Almighty God at all times, so we have to be careful how we carry ourselves. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Are you listening to me here? Amen. The exclusiveness of Christianity comes from the founder. Mm -hmm. Are y'all listening here? Amen. I say it again. The exclusiveness of Christianity comes from its founder. And who is the founder? Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is the founder. That's right. yes. Are you listening? It is not our intolerance. 
It is his. Are y'all if y'all missed that? It is not our intolerance. It is his. Amen. It is not our narrowness. It is his. Amen. Just as we are, have no right to make the way narrow, that's his doing. 